So what's up guys, Sugar Ray back at again with another video. So I'm just testing out this AirPods to see if the mic is really good at it. So for the time being, I am going to be using this. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be installing Figs Engineering uh, Mic Arms, uh, a body kit. So it came with toe links for the rear, uh, lower control arms in the rear as well, and the front all the other cushion for the cat's arm in the front. So these are the lower control arms. I purchased along with the links and then the bushings. I will do this in another time. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna take up and move the arm and then do it at the shop. When you're buying these arms, um, they do come with instructions, but you have to look at it through their website. Even though that says iPhone Gen 2 and 3. Um, this is the guide you will want to use. Install it on your first gen IC hinder. So this shows you the arm, procedure for the arm. Um, depending on what you want, depending on your application, it will show you what steps to use. Some things to do or get before you even attempt to install it. Um, little pictures and whatnot. But yeah, the whole nine yards of what not to do and what to do when you're installing these arms. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Similar. Same way. Problems I encountered while doing this was trying to make this and that straight. Or you don't want it to over or recall. You don't want to overlap the silver part or this or the this part. You don't want it to overlap the joint. Because that will call pre that will cause premature wear, so I was trying to tighten this bolt. Um, it was difficult to keep them um, straight. So one thing I do wish about this um, arm is they have like a little hexagon shape so you can put a wrench while you try to tighten this. But they only put like these bridges that only they can only use to keep it from tightening. So I didn't really do that. Maybe I'll try to take a note. Maybe we'll see. So I just finished up this side, the left side. Um, took pretty, it was pretty quick, it was quicker than the other side since I already know what to do. Now it's time to do the lower control arm. I am having trouble putting my fortune auto coil over with the lower control arm. As you can see, I literally have to scrub the paint off with this. So I don't know if this fits for all coils. So if you have fortune auto coil overs like me, you may have to grind this off just for it to fit. I had a spray primer to mess it up pretty bad. So I didn't want to rust. But yeah, if you want to do that, if you have portion on floors or floors that don't fit, you have to do that. So we got the right side done, uh, pretty easy. So, um, out there to the left one, because these can be the right, but yeah. Pretty simple. Um, installation was a bit difficult if you're, if you're not familiar with the Lexus ring. But. Like me, I'm still new at it, so I'm still learning, but next time I take it out, it's going to be way easier than it was before. Now it's time for a layout. What's up guys, so I just got back from test driving the car around um, this area where there's a lot of um, tight turns, S turns I should say, 
and yeah the car really stays planted especially for the rear since I bought arms for the rear and um, one thing I would probably improve with my car is Pacific Springs but all in all um, is, are these arms worth it? Uh, I believe they're worth it for the price they have I still haven't installed the caster arm bushings which I'll need to do I don't know when or I don't know how I'm gonna do them because I don't like doing bushings and they take a while especially if they're being stubborn but yeah here's how my car sits um I'm not too sure if it changed the height of the rear but it has definitely made it a bit more sturdier I should say or planted If you like the video like subscribe um, be sure to look up instructions before you install these um, if you're not too familiar with vehicles or um, how to install and remove arms but yeah um, that's a wrap see ya oh yeah before I wrap this video um make sure that after you're done test driving the vehicle you know make sure everything's all good um, just double check the joints just to be sure that um, they're not um, the what do you call it the joint isn't overlap isn't you know way off or so you have the ring you have the ball and then you have the, the you have the ring so just make sure that the ring isn't tilted all the way because if it's stay if it's staying like that or I should say is it if it's if it's like that then the more you drive it it'll cause premature wear one I've read in forms so just be sure you follow instructions and um, you know carefully install these um, these arms